Welcome to Lubeck Nordic Film Days. My name is Wendy Mitchell. I'm one of the programmers here, and I'm delighted to be talking to a few filmmakers from the festival. Today we have with us Nina Palmadotter from Iceland, showing her amazing debut feature, Solitude. Congrats on the film, Nina. I, you know I absolutely love this film. Um, can you tell us in your own words what, what, the, what the film is about? Yes, um, <clears throat> thank you for having me. Thank you for your kind words. Um, the movie is about um, a cross-generational friendship between uh, an older individual from the countryside of Iceland um, who's forced to move to Reykjavik and um, connects with the local paper delivery boy in his neighborhood and they form a, a bond and kind of... Um, unlikely friendship, maybe. Unlikely friendship, for sure. Um, and it's really interesting. This film is written by Runer Runerson, which probably a lot of people who come to Lübeck Nordic Film Days might know some of Runer's past films as a director. So how did it come to be that he wrote this script and then you got to direct it? I mean, it's the biggest coincidence of my life, I would say. Um, I had made two short films. One is called Paper Boy, about a paper delivery boy and how he connects with the world. And the other one about a lonesome farmer in the countryside <laughs> and we had never spoken about uh, these projects and and he had had the script for a while and and saw paperboy and saw this opportunity um to give it to another director and 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 uh, encouraged me to make it my own and i'm very thankful for that it was sounds meant to like be. fate it really is meant to be yeah um and i want to make sure i get the actors names right but you've got a sort of older experienced act actor, Thorstor Leo Gunnarsson, and then you have playing the paper boy, um, Herman Samuelsson. Correct. So how did you work with the pair of them? One of them has a lot of experience, one of them is very young. How did you work with them to make the right connection and prepare in the right way? I mean, I think it was mostly about creating that space of trust. So we would also just spend time together outside of rehearsal and just, you know, get to know each other more. Um, I was very lucky that uh, Thruster, along with me, was creating that safe space for Herman to shine. So we were both trying to hold him tight, you mm. know, and make him feel safe. Um, and they just had this absolute natural chemistry from the beginning. And I mean, that's one of the reasons I saw this was the right pairing. Mm. So. Um, uh, and then rehearsing was just a joy because um, I, I love observing and, and seeing how these natural chemistry moments can happen mm -hmm. in between takes. We have a scene that's um, something that happened in like in between takes that then was added. So um, they just had that little um, connection already. So, yeah. Yeah. And as I mentioned, it's your first feature as a director. What do you think this film says about you as a filmmaker and the kinds of stories you've plan to tell. I was going to say for your whole life. You don't have to figure out what <laughs> you're going to do when you're 80 right here on the sofa. But yeah, yeah. yeah, how does this represent your storytelling? I mean, I, I've i always had this great curiosity for for people. I think that's and, and these little um, nuances and behaviors. Um, if you look from your phone and open your eyes out and about and see how people behave um, and um, yeah, I would say I am deeply fascinated with uh, strangers meeting and having a deep impact on each other's lives. So it, I, it wouldn't surprise me if I would make something more in that uh, region. <laughs> um, so yeah, and but I'm open. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Do you have another film planning now? Or are you sort of just touring with this one for a little while? Um, for now, like uh, until the end of year, I'm gonna travel with this film and enjoy that. Um, I do have something uh, I'm planning to write, but I think I'll start in the new year, like fresh in the new year, I'll start to write. Good, new year's resolution, um, but one you can keep. Uh, you've shown this film in Toronto, um, at home in Iceland. It opened the Reykjavik Film Festival and is out in cinemas in Iceland. And now it's here in Lubeck. So do different audiences react to the film in different ways? Can you tell? Um, I was, I, I decided uh, at the third screening here, um, I decided to sit with the audience and, and take it in because sometimes you, you decide to stay out and, and mm. it's a little too nerve wracking, but uh, it was wonderful. Like uh, people were laughing more and seeing those. Oh. I mean, there's these little humorous moments that maybe I wasn't sure if people would pick up on and find fun as funny as I did. But then they did, which is um, very enjoyable for director to experience in the room. 
Um, no, the 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 audience here has been absolutely wonderful. Right. It's, uh, people love movies yeah. in Lubeck. Yeah. And you've, there's been quite a few um, Icelanders here in Lubeck. Um, Hafstein Gunnar Sigurdsson and oh, Haldor Laxness Halderson with Coach, the series. Um, Tina Raffenstalter with um, Descendants, the series, and yourself. Is it fun to sort of be with these other Icelanders while you're here somewhere exotic like Lübeck? I mean, I love it. We all we always manage to find each other and like end up having dinner together. Like these Icelanders are just drawn to each other <laughs> when we're at these places. So um, these are my my friends and colleagues, yeah. and it's always lovely to see them. Yes, I think I saw a photo on social media of. Maybe somebody had a beer together last we, night. We Who knows? Yes. yes. What would you say about your Lubeck experience? How's it been? Is this your first time in the city? It's my first time. Um, I haven't been to Germany since I was a teenager. Oh. I went on a high school trip like to Berlin when wow. I was like 18. Um, so it's been a while, um, but such a lovely town. I mean, it's, I don't know if it, maybe it's a cliche to call it, it's so cozy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting like the full autumn atmosphere. In Iceland, it's already fallen leaves and uh. soon to be snow so it's been uh, absolutely wonderful and this festival is so exciting and, yes. and the people working here are amazing yes i agree have you had any marzipan i have okay a lot more than i can admit okay <laughs> we won't force you to do that but thank you so much nina for being here in thank lubeck you. and thank here on the sofa talking to us thank you for the chat thank thanks you